As the Arctic warms and sea ice retreats, Arctic waters are becoming more accessible. New activities bring opportunities to the Arctic, but they also bring risks. As the Arctic becomes busier, an oil spill becomes more likely. There are an estimated 30 billion barrels of undiscovered oil in the U.S. Arctic alone, much of it beneath the Chukchi and Beaufort Seas. At the same time, maritime activity in the Arctic, especially shipping, is increasing. Oil spill response is difficult in any environment, but oil spills in the Arctic waters present even greater challenges. This report from the National Research Council assesses what is known about the potential for Arctic spill response. Perhaps nowhere on Earth are the effects of climate change more apparent than the Arctic. Thawing permafrost is reshaping coastlines. Sea ice, snow cover, and glaciers are diminishing. Ecosystems are under threat. Amid this rapid change, up-to-date information on shoreline mapping, marine weather, and sea ice coverage and thickness is needed to plan for effective and safe oil spill response. Understanding the interconnections among wildlife will help lessen impacts on Arctic species. Laboratory experiments, field research, and experience from past spills have built a great deal of knowledge about the properties of spilled oil, both in temperate and cold regions. We need to continue to advance research into various response techniques. One technique is to encourage the natural breakdown of oil by microbes, which occurs even at low temperatures. This biodegradation can be aided by chemicals called dispersants that break down oil into smaller particles. However, more research is needed to determine the fate and effects of chemically dispersed oil in the Arctic environment. Responders often burn oil where it is spilled. This in situ burning can be very effective in Arctic conditions as sea ice can help collect oil and thicken oil slicks. But in open water, oil will quickly spread too thin for ignition. The mechanical recovery of oil using booms and skimmers to contain oil slicks will be difficult in Arctic conditions with difficulty in deploying resources to remote areas few approved disposal sites for contaminated waste, poor port facilities for vessels, and limited airlift capabilities. Knowing the location of spilled oil is critical to mounting an effective response. Over the past decade, advances have been made in detecting and modeling oil on and under ice, using remote sensing technologies and autonomous underwater vehicles. The Arctic is remote, geographically vast, and lacking in the infrastructure needed for oil spill response, presenting a significant liability in the event of a large oil spill. Pre-positioning response equipment, such as in situ burn materials or dispersants at strategic locations would help provide faster response, as would enhancing the presence of the U.S. Coast Guard in the Arctic. There is no one-size-fits-all strategy for Arctic oil spill response. Instead, research is needed to build a toolbox of proven Arctic oil spill response technologies that, together, provide the flexibility needed to mount an effective recovery effort in challenging conditions.